not as smooth as it was intended to be. Oh, I can see. Oh, it's hot. South Carolina. Wow. I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. It is hot. Ball of fire in the sky. What are you doing to me? And this is only the morning yet. It's only gonna get hotter than this. Woo. But there is a silver lining. Palm trees. You know it's gonna be a good day when you wake up and there's palm trees. South Carolina. Look at all these boats. Wow. I can easily tell that my body is not accustomed to the southern humidity and heat. I worked in the trailer for about 15 minutes and I think I sweat out about three gallons of sweat. And I had to get out of there very quickly because they were in a rush so I didn't have a chance to change after I was done working. So I'm very uncomfortable now. And I need to change my shirt. It's just soaked. But here we are, we're gonna enjoy Charleston anyways, right? We're on our way up to Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it there today before they leave, but I'm gonna give them a call as soon as I'm out of the city. Right left on, cross town, US 17. We'll see what they say. The time is now 12.30. Everything took longer than usual, than I thought, like usual. I need to get out of this lane and this guy beside me will not, he's just stuck to my side. Stuck to my side. Go buddy. Go, why are you slowing down? Why would you just sit beside me like that when my signal's on? It made no sense. Oh look, this guy's signal's on, let's just sit right beside him. I love this town though, like the way the trees here grow right over the road, like this is nothing yet. They need to the trim some of them. But... Slight right on US 17 North MT Pleasant. Oh, apparently we're going right through the city. Okay. This seems to be a big port city. Now we're right on the Atlantic Ocean. What an awesome place to call home though. Are any of you from here? If you are, are you part of city council? Uh, could you trim the trees over the roads a little bit, please? My trailer keeps hitting them. I'm trying to avoid as many as possible. The one over us right now isn't bad. But where I was delivering there, their truck routes, lots of trucks going through there, they just need to trim their trees a little bit, I'm just saying. I'm gonna take one of these palm trees home with me one of these times. So if you see a big hole in the, in the side of the road there where a palm tree used to be, that was me. I just took one home, you won't mind, do you? could have a real palm tree and make it grow like inside the house or something. Yikes, these roads are so tight. I want to get out of this lane. I want to be in the middle lane, but again, one second, one second. Oh, I got to turn right right away. Okay, okay, we'll stay in this lane. 
Like here, here's a tree that's growing out over the road after these lights here. I love that. It's like you're driving underneath a, a natural canopy. There was a road I drove down before when I was delivering and the whole road was, it was like a tunnel underneath the trees, like a big tunnel. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful city. It seems to be very old. It's a very old city. North American standards, all the Europeans are laughing right now. To our standards, it seems to be an old city. I hope you've been excusing my messy hair all day. Here, I'll make it even better. How's that? How do I look? I don't got a mirror in here because I'm not a woman. Uh, not bad. I can still do it. It's like I'm 18 again. A little bit, a little bit less hair to spike than back then, but I can still do it. Enjoy it while I can. So that's all sweat. If you uh, weren't gagging already, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, just finished unloading my last delivery. Oh, I gotta plug my phone in apparently. It's dinging at me. Batteries are 10%. Unacceptable, 10%. Charge that baby up. There you go. The, the guy I was delivering to here, uh, helping me offload, he stayed late because we got into talking. Really cool guy. He is uh, a U.S. Marine uh, stationed down here, or he was stationed. He just got out of the Marines, and he's uh, uh, taking this job here just to get himself on his feet, just, I guess, to get back into life here, uh, back at home. And uh, he had some issues with his paperwork or something. He wanted to go and deploy again. I, I don't know. It's, I don't want to tell this whole story online, but the, the main thing is that he had a lot of cool stories to tell of deployments overseas. He had been deployed in Phil the Philippines, in Thailand, in Japan. Uh, where else did he say he was deployed at? Those are the three that he talked about the most though. Super cool guy. The most cool guy ever. He had so many questions about Canada as well because uh, Canada, I mean, there's not much to tell you. I mean, you, you wanna know about Canada? Think of America, light, or America with healthcare. Man, that was a really cool guy. I mean, if I lived down here, I would definitely want to be his friend. He was a good guy. So now that my trailer's empty, I've got to head <laughs> seven hours west towards Atlanta, Georgia. So we're pretty much right on the coast right now. We are, I'll show you here, one second. I'll show you on my GPS where we're at. Okay, so we're in Wilmington, North Carolina, okay? Just pay attention, you'll be able to see right away. There's the ocean. You see my truck there? See it? We're right on the ocean. And we've got to go there to Atlanta. Follow that green line. That is 726 kilometers or just under 500 miles. So I will not get there tonight yet because I won't have the hours. I have five hours and 28 minutes available to me to drive and five hours and 47 minutes available on my 14 hour clock. So that's pretty much set in stone. If I stop, that's gonna start eating into my drive time. Speaking of, I guess we should stop stopping and start rolling. Ready, weasel? Here we go. Release all the brakes. So we'll get there tomorrow sometime. And we'll switch trailers and we have a uh, delivery, we gotta drop the trailer in Waterloo, Ontario, grab a different trailer that's going to Rock Island, Illinois. And then I'll probably have a reload just across the river in Davenport, Iowa. And I'm not sure where that'll go, probably out to what? Western Canada. Which way do I wanna go now? I wanna go left, right? That way, okay. Pull myself around the corner here. It's really nice of that uh, Marine guy to uh, stay late. He stayed an hour late chatting with me while we were unloading. We could have done it a lot faster. Turn left on. Netherlands Drive and then turn left into 140 meters. This area must have been settled by the Dutch because the road I'm on here is called Amsterdam Road. And the next road I have to turn on to is Netherlands Drive. <laughs> I'm guessing there must have been some Dutch influence in this area when they were naming these roads. 
That's Dutch, right? Another one? Dutch? I think so. Netherlandian? Netherlander? They're the Dutch, right? Dutch. Same thing? 200 meters. Turn left on. Netherlands drive and then turn left into 140 meters. See? <laughs> well, my camera's about to die, so I will talk to you guys a little bit down the road. When I haven't, uh, when I've dried off a little bit, I gotta go find a shower. Every time I step out of my truck for more than 10 minutes, I just start sweating buckets. Everybody knows I'm Canadian. I can't even hide it. Look. They're looking at me all strange, just soaked in sweat. Nobody else is, just me. And I'm saying, sorry, Canadian, eh? And then they look at me funny again and start laughing because I apologized. Then I have to apologize for apologizing. In 200 meters, turn left on Gordon Road. What, I'm Canadian. We apologize a lot. Sorry. Where are we? Diesel, where are we? One second, let's ask the Googles. We made it to Flying J in... Doesn't even give me a, a town that I'm in. Latta, South Carolina. L-A-T-T-A. Latta. We're in Latta, South Carolina. That's where we spent the night tonight. Uh, we got another five and a half hours to go to Atlanta. And then from there, we go back up to Ontario, drop that trailer, hook up to a different trailer, bring that to Rock Island, Illinois, drop that load there or unload it, go pick up a different trailer, bring that trailer home. I think that's the plan. I think I'm going home from Rock Island, but we know that we're at least going up to Rock Island. So I got my whole next week all planned out. Busy, busy, busy. So thanks for tuning in today, everybody. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day. Been having my work cut out for me here. You can tell that my body is not accustomed to this weather, but I like it. You know, I just need some more time down here and I would, my body would get used to it, right? I just need more time. So they'll just have to keep sending me down here until I get used to the heat. And I won't be sweating buckets every time I open my window. 